Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith. I work in a hospital as an EEG technologist and today I monitored a baby for seizures. Now the baby was just a few months old and it had a seizure in the past. So we put the baby on monitoring to make sure the baby's not having any more seizures and the baby's doing okay. So I had some good experience monitoring a baby today and I just wanna talk about it while I drive home. One interesting thing while monitoring the baby I saw was asymmetric sleep spindles. Now that's actually normal if the baby's only a few months old. Uh, in stage two sleep, you get these things called sleep spindles, which are uh, pretty much the hallmark of stage two sleep. That's the main thing you can see to know someone is in stage two sleep. So that's one cool thing I, I found with the baby. And another thing about babies are that their background rhythm, which in adults is an alpha rhythm between eight and 12 hertz, and a baby it's normal in its waking state to be more in the theta delta range until they mature, their brain matures, and then it can get up to that eight to 12 hertz marker. And so that's another interesting thing about monitoring a baby today. And another thing, that I thought of that was actually quite frustrating, guys, was when I was monitoring the baby, uh, the baby, the mom kept picking up the baby and moving the baby to the couch, moving the baby back to the crib, moving the baby back to the couch and then back to the crib. It's like they couldn't make up their mind and I had to keep moving the camera back and forth, back and forth so many times. It actually got really frustrating guys because if you're unfamiliar with EEG there's two parts to doing epilepsy monitoring you have your video that's the first part and the other half is the EEG waves so the doctor wants to be able to see the video and the EEG so they can see if there's any jerking or shaking movements they can see it on the video as well as the epileptic activity on the EEG waves and this was uh, such a frustrating thing. I was like, I asked my uh, coworker, Julia, I was like, does this ever happen to you? Because she does the long-term monitoring longer than I have. And she was like, yeah, Jared, I actually had this, this kid who was like four years old. They're running back and forth, back and forth all around the room. And at the same time, she said she actually had a patient who was actually having actual seizures, nonstop seizures, status epile epilepticus. And it made it hard to you know, con contact the doctor and get the patient who's having the actual seizures treatment because she's busy turning the camera back and forth from the four-year-old who was, who was relatively normal, running back and forth all across the room. But I was asking her just to confirm my idea for this invention, guys. So, because I was so frustrated having to move the camera back and forth so many times, I'm like, well, why don't we just use computer vision have the computer itself track the patient and move across the room wherever the patient goes. Now it's completely possible with today's computer vision technology, we're using the same kind of technology while in building seizure detection. And if you guys remember way back, I had this thing that could detect a patient's eyes open versus eyes closed. So I, we already have computer, computer vision technology that we've, made samples of and this is how this whole thing got started in the first place so it, I'm thinking it's possible to make a EEG program that can track the patient around the room so if you got a four-year-old running across the room the camera will automatically follow the four-year-old around the room or if the mom has their baby who's you know one year old or less just a few months old and they're picking up the baby moving the baby around the room the camera will automatically follow that is a genius idea. And I'm gonna be adding it to my software eventually. I mean, we don't even have our own uh, EEG recording device. We just have software that can read other companies' EEG recordings. So it might take a long time, might take some years, but it's something I'm gonna keep in the back of my mind. Uh, you might be thinking, Jared, if you had this great idea, why are you telling it to everybody? Aren't the big companies like Natus and Neon Coden just gonna steal your idea and then you're gonna be out of luck? Well, yeah, they could take that idea and run with it and add it into all their machines before my company is able to do it because I said it right here on camera. But one thing that I've always thought 
if a billion dollar company is gonna copy someone, I have to make sure the billion dollar EEG companies are copying me, Jared Beckwith. If they're gonna copy anyone, they sure as hell are gonna be copying me because I'm the one with the ideas. I know what the future of EEG is looking like. We're bringing these revolutionary new features to you guys. Uh, hopefully we can get some FDA clearance eventually. That whole thing is gonna take uh, sometime next year, should be cleared. It all depends on when we submit it to them because it takes about six months for it to actually get looked at and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a long journey, guys. I mean, I might sound a little discouraged, but it's actually kind of blissful. It's a, it's a good thing. It's, I'm having a great time, guys. That's what really matters. I'm having a great time. I had to shoot this video to tell you guys about my uh, experience monitoring a baby for seizures. Good news is, guys, the baby did not have any seizures. So the baby was fine uh, today, so... This the only problem I had was keeping the baby on camera. And that can be solved with the magic of computer vision. And hopefully we can build something to automatically chase these little, little kids around while they're on EEG monitoring. Because I've actually had a doctor complain, Dr. Ben Bedis, I heard at the ASSET conference, he was talking about his speech about half of an epilepsy monitoring unit is the video video is of prime importance and he said yeah sometimes I'm looking at uh, just a blank wall half the time so if we had something that could actually track the patient and keep them on the camera catch more seizures on camera better patient care it's less frustrating for the EEG technologist who has to chase them around on the video that was ridiculous today I was actually uh, frustrated having big size as I was doing it. That's how the I even thought of the idea for the automatic patient tracking feature. So out of my own frustration, this is how all my features get invented, guys. I'm frustrated with something, like the seizure detection I was trying out didn't work, so I'm making my own. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This was my awesome day at the hospital monitoring. A little baby, cute baby. Had a fun time. Babies are definitely harder to read since I see them way less. So this was a good experience, guys. I got to monitor a cute baby. Uh, I learned a little bit about neonatal EEGs, baby EEGs. And I thought of this new interesting feature idea to track babies all around the room while their parents take them back and forth between the crib and the couch. Or even little four-year-olds like my uh, coworker was saying, running back and forth across the room. I mean, it's an idea. Make sure you hit the like button. I appreciate it. I love you all, my EEG friends. Uh, comment down below. Is this a good feature idea or should I just scrap it? I mean, it just makes sense to me. It's just, I think it's the big thing is whether it's possible or not. And from what I think, I think, yeah, it's possible. So maybe you'll see it one day, maybe a couple years from now, but Right now, we're focusing on building out more trending panels so we can do better long-term monitoring of EEGs. And once that's finished, then we can go into little small features like, you know, camera tracking. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. I will see you all on the next video. I love you guys.